Now in this question we're asked to solve the simultaneous equation 3x plus 2y equals 17 with 2x minus 5y equals 5. Now I've actually given this question in an earlier example where we eliminated the x terms. What I want to do in this example is do the same question again but show you how to do it by eliminating the y terms and obviously the answer should be the same as what we had before. Okay, so in the usual way, first of all, I'm just going to label the equations, 1 and 2. And so what we need to do is find a number that both the 2 and 5 go into. Preferably the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5, and that would be 10. So what we need to do is bring this up to 10y. Bring both of these equations up in fact to 10y and we can do that by multiplying both sides of this equation by 5 because that will give us a 10y there and if we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 it would give us a 10y in here. So we need to tell the reader that that's what we're going to do. So we take equation 1 then as we decided and we're going to multiply it through by 5 to bring this up to 10y. So times by 5 and we're going to take equation 2 and multiply that through by 2. So we'll put that down there, equation 2, we're going to multiply through by 2. So if we do that, equation 1 times 5, then we get 5 lots of 3x, which is 15x, and 5 lots of plus 2y is plus 10y, and finally 5 lots of 17 is 85. Taking equation 2 and Timesing both sides by 2 gives 2 lots of 2x, which is 4x. 2 lots of minus 5y is minus 10y. And 2 lots of 5 here is 10. We need to number these two equations now. So the next numbers in the sequence would be 3 and 4. So... To eliminate the y terms, you notice that they are not exactly the same. They're not plus 10y and plus 10y, or minus 10y and minus 10y. So they're not exactly the same, because if they were, we would need to subtract the two equations from one another. No, they're different, these. Okay, okay they've got 10y, but we've got a plus and a minus. So the only way you can eliminate these is by adding the two y terms together. Look, I'll just remind you, just in case you've forgotten that, okay, we would have plus 10y, that's that one there, and if we were to add the next term down here, minus 10y, we would then have plus 10y, two different signs here, plus and a minus, are replaced by a minus, and then we have the last 10y, and plus 10y minus 10y is no y or just simply 0. So the y terms get eliminated if we add the two equations 3 and 4. So that's what we're going to do. So again, tell the reader that we're going to do equation 3 plus equation 4. Otherwise, they're left to guess what we're doing. Okay, so 3 add 4. We've got now 15x plus 4x, which is going to be 19x, so we therefore have 19x. We've seen that if we add 10y to minus 10y, we saw that we get 0, no y's at all, so that gets eliminated. And then we have 85 plus 10, which is clearly 95. So we divide both sides now by 19, and what you should find is that 19x divided by 19 is x, and 95 divided by 19 is 5. So x is 5. All we need to do now is get y, so we substitute, okay, sub for short, substitute x equals 5 into one of the four equations. It's best to select one of the top two equations, really, because even though what we do will work in any of these two, they've got much bigger numbers in, so it's just going to be a bit more awkward, say. But I'm going to select number one, purely because I like working with pluses rather than negatives. So we're going to say substitute x equals 5 into equation 1. 
what that gives then is 3 times the x value, 3 times 5, okay, plus the 2y equals 17. Okay, we have that there. Tidy this up and we have 3 5s which are 15 plus 2y equals 17. Subtract 15 from both sides and you have 2y equals 17 take 15 which is 2. Divide both sides by 2 and you end up with y equals 1. So to summarise then we therefore have x equals 5 and y equals 1. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the simultaneous equation.